Welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Amy Chi with Xinhua News Agency. I'm witnessing a significant moment of the global aviation industry in North China standing. Just behind me, Airbus has just opened its second final safety line for the A320 family. You can see the significance of this moment through the ceremony unfolding just behind me. And today we have some representatives from the leaders from Airbus and the Chinese officials gathered here to mark this occasion. The leader, the Airbus CEO Barry, will step up to deliver his speech. Let's take a closer look. What a video. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear colleagues and friends, Fan Kaoshin, Sai Su Hui Dao Chango. I'm uh, really pleased and honored to be here with you on this very special day to celebrate the inauguration of our second A320 family final assembly line here in Tianjin. What a way for us to mark 40 years of friendship and partnership between Airbus and China. For my colleagues and for me, it is humbling to see Airbus operations going from strength to strength here. This country, indeed this city, has become a true aviation powerhouse, a global center of innovation, production and maintenance. At Airbus, we are so fortunate to be able to call China and Tianjin our home. Since 2008, our final assembly line here has, with the support of our local suppliers, has been a model of efficiency and professionalism, producing and delivering more than 780 A320 family single-engine aircraft. Already more. 780 will A second farm will enable us to increase significantly our production in Tianjin. I'd like to thank the Chinese government, the Tianjin local government, and our industrial partners here for all your support in preparing this new farm. Let me also add a word of gratitude to the governments and embassies of our European partners for your support and your contribution. Once again, our talented colleagues and partners here have brought a project to fruition with their famous China Speed. It was only in September 2023 that they began work on this facility, two years ago. Now, here we are, as I said, just over two years later, with a state-of-the-art factory, which will serve customers from across China and beyond. Thank you to you all. Thank you. Of course, the final assembly line is a vital stage in the manufacturing of an aircraft. It's where the aircraft is assembled from large components like fuselage sections and wings. It's also where the aircraft is painted, tested, and handed over to the customer. This final assembly line features new technology, which will help to adapt seamlessly to our customers' many different requirements for their aircraft. And they are more every day. 
It sets a high standard for environmental performance among our industrial facilities. Like our first file here, it is powered fully by electricity from renewable sources. This new file also features a geothermal energy infrastructure, which brings a further significant reduction in CO2 emissions. Like our existing uh, Tianjin file, this second one will hand an aircraft from both our A320 and larger A321 NEOs ranges. And there are more and more A321s in the mix. These are Airbus' newest single-line aircraft. They are around 20% more efficient, more fuel efficient than the previous generation of aircraft. They are also capable of flying on a blend of 50% sustainable aviation fuel. And we are working to ensure that figure becomes 130, sorry, 100 percent by 2030. This matters with sustainable aviation fuel production gaining momentum in China and in the world. Our F320 uh, NEOs have flown millions of people across China and Asia, supporting trade and employment. And they will fly many millions more. Commercial aviation in China has indeed enormous potential. Demand for these aircraft is rising fast. So this new assembly line is a crucial part of our plans at Airbus to raise our worldwide production of A320 family aircraft. Of course, our Chinese suppliers will support our ramp-up in production. I am pleased to say we have some 200 Chinese suppliers for our commercial aircraft. And we are certainly fulfilling our com commitment to develop our industrial cooperation here. Local suppliers now provide everything from raw materials to cabin equipment, including to our factories elsewhere in the world, not only here in China. For example, Chinese suppliers now provide wings and fuselage equipping for some of the aircraft assembled in our changing facts. Actually, for wings, it's for all our aircraft produced here. And we will continue to diversify our Chinese supply chain and build a competitive and resilient industrial ecosystem here. Preparations to assemble the first aircraft are in full swing. First aircraft in this one, in this second one. We will see the FAL, the final assembly line, fully operational early next year and delivering aircraft to customers as soon as uh, 2026, as soon as next year. It will be, of course, another landmark in the cooperation between Airbus and China that we are so proud of. Over the past 40 years, we've come a long way. Our activities with our Chinese partners now include also a safety promotion center, research and development work on hydrogen, recycling retired aircraft, and, of course, aircraft manufacturing and assembly. With the inauguration of this new farm, we are opening another exciting chapter together. Thank you.
So the great ceremony has just concluded and now we will take some time to talk about it. So why is this is such a big deal? Let me break it down for you. So with this uh, final assembly launch, Airbus can double its capacity uh, in a location where it's closer to the Chinese and beyond to its customers. Now we uh, Airbus have 10 final assembly lines. Four in Germany, the two in France, and two in United States, and two in China's Tianjin. The advanced second line features Airbus' latest technologies and the processes to produce aircraft worldwide, all adhering to the company's highest standards. After that, we can see this facility is so green. The, faci the facility takes advantage of electricity from the renewable sources, reclaimed water and geothermal energy to support this company's sustainability roadmap, reducing the company's environmental footprint. To give a little perspective, Airbus CEO Barry has also mentioned about it. The Airbus has broke down, broke ground down this very facility on September 28, 2023. So after over about two years later, we are celebrating on this very facility. This also reflects the China's speed and the partnership and commitment between the Airbus and its Chinese counterparts. Well, as you can see, this is where the aircraft fuselage section and the wings are assembled and this is where the aircrafts are painted, the tested and handed over to the consumers. Airbus has become a witness and a participant of China's rapid aviation development and China now has been the second largest air transport market and Airbus the largest single country market for the commercial aircraft. Operating a fleet exceeding 4,300 aircraft, over 2,200 of which are Airbus jets, Chinese aviation has evolved from a follower to a leader. The Airbus 2025 global market forecast projects that annual air trips per capita in China will rise from the 0 0.6 in 2024 to 1.8 by, 20, by 2044. Over the next 20 years, China is expected to become the world's largest air transport market, requiring over 9,000 new aircrafts, nearly a quarter of the global demand. This year marks the 40 years of partnership between Airbus and the China's civil aviation industry which has evolved beyond aircraft exports to the entire product life cycle, ranging from the research and development to manufacturing, assembly, operational support, and even end-of-life disassembly and recycling. Airbus and its Chinese partners have established facilities across China, the training and engineering and the consumer support and centers in Beijing. An A320 family final assembly line, a wide body completion and the delivery center in Tianjin, an aircraft life cycle service center in Chengdu, a composite manufacturing center in Harbin, an innovation center in Shenzhen, and the research and development center in Suzhou. Airbus employs over 2,300 staff in China. So now I'm in the fourth floor of the final assembly line. So here you can have the whole picture of the second file. And the Airbus leaders at the ceremony has expressed that it will deepen the vertical integration of the Chinese counterparts. So we will looking forward to a more bright future of this cooperation. So that's all for today's Xinhua Live. Thank you for watching. See you next time.